Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'm going to show you how to animate a camera inside a blood vessel. That's why let's start by creating the blood vessel, delete the default cube, add from curve list a easier curve. Hit seven for a top view, tab or select edit mode from this list. Select this point, hit E to extrude, hit E again to extrude, and hit E again to extrude. Go back to object mode, hit Shift D to duplicate the Bezier curve. As you see, we have in this collection two Bezier curves. Let's name the first one Blood Vessel. And the second one, let's name it Pathway or Camera Pathway. Select Blood Vessel, go to Object Properties, hit Geometry and scroll down to increase the depth as you see our blood vessel starts to appear. This is our blood vessel. And this is the pathway on which the camera will move. Now, to apply a texture, we have to convert this object into a mesh. That's why from object list, hit convert into mesh. Add modifier, subdivision surface, render, let's make it three. Viewport, let's make it 3 or 4 if you want. Hit apply. Add another modifier. Displays. Hit new. New. And select from texture list. Clouds. From noise spaces. Improved Berlin. Go back to modifier. And decrease uh, strength to 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 if you want. This is our blood vessel. Now it's time to allow the camera moving on this pathway inside the blood vessel. That's why select camera, hit Alt G, and as you see, our camera is positioned uh, at the origin. Hit S to decrease the size and hit move to move it move the camera to this point the starting point now hit rotate and rotate the, our camera toward the inside of the blood vessel let's see okay this is the camera view now we want this camera to move along this pathway that's why select together camera and pathway hit ctrl p and select from this list follow path if you click play as you see our camera is moving inside the blood vessel let's see again from a top view hit x-ray to see the camera inside Let's play. As you see, our camera is moving inside the blood vessel. But it moves rapidly. That's why to slow down the movement of the camera inside the blood vessel, let's select the camera or the go to object properties and hit path animation, make the number of frames 400. And here, let's move, modify the number of frames to 400. So, if we play, if we click play now, our camera is moving slowly inside the blood vessel. From a top view, by hitting 7, as you see, our camera is moving inside the blood vessel. But at certain points, at certain points, this uh, position should be modified. So, that's why. Let's go back to the starting point and position this camera at this point, hit I and select 
locate, rotate. So a frame appear here. Let's uh, continue. Our camera, I think, should be modified. Should be modified in its position. Rotate. No, no. Okay. Hit. Uh, click undo. And just the camera should be selected. That's why I click camera. Now rotate the camera a little bit. Hit I. Locate. Rotate. Let's continue. Our camera it moves correctly. Should be modified a little bit. Rotate. Hit I. Locate. Rotate. And so on. So our camera is moving correctly. Correctly. Sorry. Inside the blood vessel. Here, I think we want to shoot, to modify its position. Okay. Hit I, locate, rotate. Okay, we'll continue. Okay, good. Here we want to modify its position. Rotation. Hit I, locate, rotate. And as you see, Let's continue. Okay, it moves correctly inside the blood vessel. Here we want to modify its position. Rotation, hit I, locate, rotate. Let's go back to the starting point and see what happens inside. As you see, this is our camera moving inside a blood vessel. Thank you for watching. This is our video for today. See you in next video, inshallah.